Yes, people, it's your boy Fred Stars. Thanks so far, about the channel. Truly grateful, truly appreciative. If you're new on this channel, please hit that sub button for me. Comment, share, like it. You know, we do, guys. So, Love is Blind UK is finally here, really. I've been waiting, anticipating, and everything's there. It's finally here, and I'm not gonna lie. It's good still, like, you know what I'm saying? It's giving, it's giving like flipping Father Christmas and them things there. It's giving like, it's giving more than Mr. Beast does, you know what I mean? <laughs> proper enjoying it, like, it's proper, and I've only seen the first episode, you know? I haven't even, I'm doing this um, review of, of based off the first episode. I haven't seen the rest of them. I'm going to do it each episode and them things there. But bro, I'm not going to lie, it's got me gripped like Gorilla Glue still. I'm not going to lie, it's proper got me like attached to them things there. <laughs> got some decent characters in there. And I like the ages of the people as well. Like, it's more mature age. Like, 25s, early 30s, upwards and things like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm proper liking it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's hosted by the beautiful Emma Willis. Oh, yeah, I love Emma Willis. I love her. And her husband. My man's got the Harry Hill glasses on. I don't even know who he is, but he seems cool in them things there. This season, yeah, Straight away after watching the first episode, the couple characters just stood up, just stood up to me straight away. The first one we have to talk about, Sam. Fam, this brother is a creep. <laughs> He's a little creepy crawly. Fam, this brother's got that Norman Bates kind of vibe. You know, like, just like a psycho kind of vibe. It looks like a, it looks like a disturbed you. You know them ones there? <laughs> like a serial killer it's only been one episode yeah and the guy's shown more red flags than flipping chinatown and them things there the amount of red flags you've seen from this guy but from his first introduction talking about he had to get his nose done he had to get certain things done because i'm just thinking who is this helmet who is this pleb who is this little turd burglar i've never seen this guy in my life like who is this guy i don't know where they found this shoot from yeah but it's the first episode i'm not gonna go too in on him and stuff but <laughs> just like I don't know, like, I don't know, like, I didn't take to him, I didn't take to him. Then there's man like Freddy, Freddy, Freddy's cool, yeah, like, good looking guy. Do you know what, I feel like the batch that they got this year, it's like, decent looking guys and them things there. I feel like the girls are not going to be, like, disappointed, but, <laughs> I feel like the guys are going to be more disappointed with the girls. That's what I think, yeah. Um, Freddy, the brother's a funeral director, and bro, I'm not gonna lie, I got nothing to say about Freddy, he just seems like a cool brother, I don't know why he ain't got a gal, because he's not ugly brother, do you know what I'm saying, but, um, he's got a couple of potentials, Catherine likes him right now, Catherine likes Ollie, as well as Freddy, but, you know, like, I don't, like, th there's that little battle for Ollie right now between um, Catherine and Demi. And it's mad because, oh, it's a mad. First episode and it's given, I'm telling you, you got to get into this. I'm telling you. Anyway, let me carry on with Freddie, yeah? <laughs> Freddie's a cool brother. He's a funeral director. And because of that, because of that, his job, bro, I feel like that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why his love life is dead. <laughs> Literally dead. You know what was there? Prince Philip vibes. But I can't see anything else stopping this guy from getting a gal or a partner because he seems down to earth. There's no red flags there. Good looking guy. He works out. He's into, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't see anything. Do you know what I'm saying? And I love this experiment because you can't just go for looks. You know how Love Island and certain um, superficial shows are and stuff, yeah? You can't. You have to just go after this person's like, personality and, oh my God, it's a mother. Then you got Oli, the brother Oli. He's one of like, the main picks. The girl them like him right now. Um, De Demi and Catherine, they're proper like, you know what I'm saying? They got their eyes on him. Proper watching him and stuff, yeah? Obviously, they can't see him because they're in a... <laughs> they can't see each other. But the vibes, the connection, stronger than optic fiber and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? With Demi and Catherine. But I feel like Demi will be better for him in the long run. Anyway, I'm going to get to that. So you got man like Oli. Oli's 32... He says that people say he looks like Craig David, but I'm not going to lie. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Maybe the Bo Selector version and them things there, not the real one. <laughs> I don't see it. He looks more like Joyner Lucas to me. You know the guy that done I'm not racist? Joyner Lucas. Listen, anyway, yeah. He's a cool guy as well. He likes, he's into fitness. I think he says he boxes as well. And because he's got such a good personality, he's easy to connect. It's easy for him to connect with like women, different women. And they're just sitting there in a, in a divided room, certain, like Catherine going crazy and then things there and Demi. But again, for Oli, for what he is being a Londoner and all them things there, I feel like Demi, Demi is going to be good for him. See, with Demi, yeah, I really, really like Demi. I, I actually like Demi. Demi will make her, like, a good, proper girlfriend. Because you know what? She knows who she is. She's not hiding it. She tells you every now and then she might gain weight, lose weight, and whatever, whatever. And um, she knows what she wants in a man. She's... 
I, I really, really like Demi. I really, really like Demi, and I hope things work out for her. I think it should be Demi and Ollie and Catherine and um, my man, the funeral di director. But we're going to see how it works out. Demi looks like the kind of girl that like, you'll come home, she got some nice, warm ragu. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? A, a nice bowl of food warmed up for you and them things there. Like, bed fluffed up. and them, No, them kind of girl, they like... Well, Catherine, she looks like, I don't know, she, like, she might be doing Pilates in the gym when you need your food and them things. <laughs> I don't know, like, you might have to dash a treadmill at Catherine. I'm not too sure, but we'll see, innit? Demi, like I was saying about her before, she's 30, she's a safeguard attendance manager. I have no idea what that job is. Some of these job titles that people just be having, I swear they just be giving it to them just to make them feel good. Like, yeah, you're this. <laughs> safeguard, anyway. Yeah, but Demi, apart from her job title, she's mad cool. She plays football. I think she, she said she does boxing as well. She's proper, like active little like tongue girl sort of thing and she says i think that's what's that's what's not helped her in getting man because when man see girl doing them kind of things you don't really look at them like that do you know what i mean but well certain man don't but yeah man i think demi's good food personally i think it's good food i hope it works out then there's steven and sabrina first of all steven yeah steven i think he's like 35 years old he's a gym owner proper gentleman tall brother like do you know what i'm saying like good looking guy he look he kind of reminds me of the brother that does that um that a French brother that does the dating show. You know, like, that does the dating show and he owns the restaurant and everyone goes there for dates and stuff. Wow, well, well, it's literally just escaped me what the show's called. But he, he look, kind of looks like the French brother, a little bit, a younger version of him. What do you guys think? Anyway, yeah, got man like Steven, proper cool guy. And see Steven, yeah, straight away from his introduction. I just, I swear down, when I was taking out notes watching this, yeah, from his introduction, I said, this guy's a soft you. Like, talking about his parents, the divorce, that it made him, and rare, rare, rare. I knew he was soft. I knew he was soft. Then you got Sabrina, yeah? Sabrina's cool and all that, yeah? But I don't... This is what... This is why the show is so bad. It's sick. It's the experiment. This is one of the best dating shows, if you ask me, yeah? Because I'm watching it and I'm like, raw. Because they literally, on the talking level, they're, they're, they're connected and all that stuff. There was the little teething problem between them because um, Sabrina's 35 and she's worried. I think she can't have kids no more. She's not really caring about having kids because she's at that age now. She just wants to find a good... A partner or whatever whereas steve steve wants yo he wants a football team and them things there i don't know if he wants a football team but he wants he wants kids and stuff and through their little couple of meetings that they had talking to each other and connecting and stuff he's like he's decided as a man yeah he's i don't know i don't even know how to say this like he's lowered his standards just to be with this woman because he feels like they got some sort of like a good connection and i feel like bro this bro like this this kind of experiment, yeah, is for, for, for certain people, it's not good, bro. They fall in love just like that. You know them ones there? That's crazy. She's, t bro, I don't know, man. I don't think that's going to work out well. They still got to see each other, see if they're physically attracted to each other and them things there. Because it's one thing being in a, a little uh, box room, fantasizing and dreaming away. But in reality, reality is different. You know them ones there? Then you got this brother, Um, is it... Benaya, ben I think his name is Benaya. Bro, I call him Benny Hanna and them things there because I couldn't even really, I think it's Benaya, the brother with the long hair. He looks like a flipping Swedish butcher or something. You know what I'm saying? He just looks like some, I don't know. He just looks like a hippie. <laughs> and it's funny as well because he told Nicole that he's homeless and stuff, yeah? See him, yeah? He seems like a cool brother. He is a cool guy, like proper. He probably smokes weed as well. You know, they want them kind of guys like to flow and stuff. Tim, yeah? Bro, he's not ready for a relationship. He's not ready for a relationship, I'm telling you. The brother's homeless. <laughs> he's a hobo. He's a hobo. He's not even ready for a relationship. All right, he, he's not like homeless living on the streets and stuff, but bro, he's not someone who likes to like settle down. He likes to travel, do this and do, and ha that's not really gonna work in relationship. Do you know what I'm saying? Although I like the connection between him and Nicole. Oh, Nicole. Oh my God, I got so much to talk about. It's crazy. Nicole. I like Nicole, yeah, but Nicole seems a bit like, I don't know, like an airhead and stuff. I don't know. She seems like she just believes she's very gullible. You know them ones there? Which is cool and stuff, but I just feel like in the long run, do you know what? Her and that Benaya guy, if she's a bit of an airhead, he's a bit of a airhead, they would have been like a good match. I actually, I feel like they had a better connection than um, Sam. Sam is just a creep, bro. This guy, he just looks like, bro, I don't know, bro. He's just like a mad creep, bro. Then there's Jasmine. Jasmine, I really like her, you know. Jasmine's cool people. She said she's exhausted. She needs someone that's going to stabilise her and them things there. And I like her because she looks like she knows what she wants. She's been around. Not like been around like, like a local bike and them things there. But she knows what she wants in a man. She wants what she wants for herself. I felt like she had the... Out all the guys she spoke to or the people we saw that she spoke to, 
the Bobby brother, the brother, bro, my man looks like Munya. You know the guy on Instagram is always doing the, 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 the jokes and stuff, yeah. The little short lights came, brother. I feel like they had the best connection. My man that used to, and Bobby, my man that used to live in Mexico and stuff. I felt like out oh, all the guys, I think she can see through that Sam brothers um, BS. She can see like he's a waste man. You know that one that you can probably smell it through the divider and stuff. She can see that. But Jasmine, I feel like, yo, like, do you know what? I'm not going to lie. Apart from that creep Sam, yeah. Most of the casts are cool. They're cool. They're like, you know what I'm saying? I wish the best. I wish them well in them things there. I wish you well. I really wish them well. But I feel like, see when you're in them rooms yeah, and you're talking to people and you're just curling up and they're saying the things you want. Oh, oh I like yoga. Me too. I like this. Me too. And everything. Me too. And, you know what I'm saying? Did you see when um, Jeffrey and Catherine was chatting? Yeah, bro. I thought like they were family, bro. I thought they were related. <laughs> I thought they were like kissing cousins. I was like, what the hell? Like, What's going on in? He, his grandma's name is this, her grandma's name is this, his granddad's name is this, her granddad's name is this. And then she started crying on the floor. I was like, yo, what going on here? <laughs> you know, doing some ancestry thing. What going on here? You know them ones there? I wasn't too sure. But I really like this experiment. I like it and I'm going to be keeping a close eye on it and then things there. Catherine, oh yeah, one more thing. Catherine, yeah. Why is... See Catherine, yeah, she likes Ollie. She likes Ollie. Did you see when she says something towards the end of the show? She's talking about, oh, she can't see Ollie and Demi working on the outside. You don't even know them. You've never ever seen Ollie before. What? From having one or two conversations with him. Bro, this girl is an idiot. That's her way. Let her go with the funeral director, man. You know them ones there. She's dead anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. That was jokes. But, like, oh, bro, I can't wait to watch the second episode. Listen, review coming soon. Listen. I'm going to, listen. Guys, let me know if you watch it. If you haven't, lock in. It's your boyfriend Stones, man.